guys, welcome back again from Tampa Bay. Today I'm taking a short little fun ride and getting some gas. And I got a topic I didn't want to talk about, but I'm kind of forced to. Talking about some really bad customer service. Sometimes I run into uh, situations here where, I want to make sure my door was down run into situations where I am just astounded by how poorly some business owners especially, sometimes employees but sometimes business owners, absolutely just self-obliterate their reputation in the way that they deal with their customers, especially when it's correcting a mistake on their end. Sometimes it's just them being rude, but sometimes it's over the top. Now let me start off by saying nobody's perfect, especially business owners. I'm a small business owner. For those of you that don't know, I'm a commercial and wedding photographer. That's my main business. Been doing my own thing for eight years. I'm a one-man band, and I make plenty of mistakes. It's not about making a mistake. It's simply about how you deal with fixing the mistakes. Quick example, a few months ago, I was using these new flash drives to deliver my wedding photos to my client. And long story short, they were a pretty crappy product. They looked great, they're you know custom for my wedding clients with printing and photos and everything. But what happened is, some of the files were getting corrupted after the drive was written and delivered and of course that's no good that's terribly embarrassing to have a wedding client call you up after they spent thousands of dollars and they said uh yeah some of these pictures don't open so i had to source different drives go through all the custom shipping again the custom printed boxes and the packaging and bottom line is for that one client alone it happened uh twice before I realized that it was a batch problem with the drives but I ate about 60 bucks and it's not about the money it's about making the client happy but they were happy in the end they got their photos and I learned my lesson about that particular supplier of drives okay case closed so this is all revolving around the LED lights from ADV monster that I ordered and installed. And if you haven't seen my headlight installation video, go ahead and watch that first because that really takes you through the core of the problem. And at that point, I didn't have a problem at all with the company. It was a crappy product, but they don't make the product. They were made in China. They're just selling them. All right, no big deal. After that first video, after it was demonstrated that the product is subpar to say the least I emailed them and the owner John emailed me back and offered me a refund which you can see right here here's the email that John from ADV Monster sent me after the first installation video which was installing them per instructions it says hey Brian hi Brian I watched your installation video, great documentation by the way. You need to remove the shield on the light base. The shield is blocking plus 60% of the light. Most installations do not use the shield. If you look at the base from the LED side, you will see two small Phillips head screws. Remove them, remove the shield, and reinstall the H4 base to the insert using the same screws. If you're not pleased with the result, I will be happy to offer a refund. Key. I will be happy to offer a refund if I'm not pleased with the result. And if you're down this way, look me up. I'm near frostproof. Heck, I'd even show you some good roads to ride. Regards, John Sanders, ADV Monster. So in that email, he also said that he suggests installing them a different way than the instructions say. And I, being very fair, went through the entire thing again did a second install, tested it exactly like he said, did another video. So if you haven't watched part two, definitely watch that because that goes into all the details now about what's going on. 
Okay, fast forward this last seven days now. After that email, after the second video I made went up, I emailed him, said obviously I'm not happy with him and I would like the refund that he offered. A couple days goes by, nothing, I email again, nothing, a couple days goes by, email him again, nothing, okay, six days go by, and at this point, I'm thinking either he's being a jackass and ignoring me, or, okay, stuff happens, maybe my email is, for some reason now, going into his spam filter. Okay, you know, that that's possible, I've had it happen, I haven't had it happen in the middle of a correspondence, but you never know. Maybe he switched email providers. Maybe he's out of town. I have no idea. All I know is after that refund email, I got absolutely nothing from him at all. So I called him. Called him yesterday afternoon, about two o'clock. And he answered the phone. I said, is this John? He said, yes. Told him who I was and he recognizes me. He goes, oh yeah. And he sounded all normal, you know, pleasant. And he said, yeah, I, I wanted to let you know that I watched your second video and you really went over the top. And at that moment, I thought he was giving me a compliment. And in the very nice, pleasant tone, he went on to say that uh, basically I didn't know anything about lighting and they're not illegal, as I claimed in the video. He wants it taken down. Yada, yada, yada. Starts laying into me. And for a second there, I'm kind of taken aback. Because, you know, it went from... Especially coming from the nice, normal tone. But it went from what I thought was a compliment into... Not. <laughs> So I didn't feed into it and uh, basically said, I would just like that refund that you promised. And he basically ignored me and I said, uh, sorry, just looking at traffic here. I was just ignoring everything he said and just kept calmly saying, I just want to return these lights. I want my refund. I would like to return the product. And he just wouldn't have it. Okay, who's open? Who's open? You're just going to sit here, so I'm going to go around you. And after he said that he didn't agree with what I said, I said, well, that's fine. Thank you for the opinion, but that has nothing to do with this call. I would just like my refund. And he gets upset. So you're not even going to listen to any kind of reason or other opinions. I said, that's fine if you want to think that. I just want my refund. So after a couple more exchanges, he finally gets huffy and says, fine, I'll send you instructions for a refund. And I said, all right, thank you. And that was it. Waited the whole rest of yesterday, nothing. And you know, after an hour after that conversation, I kind of got the feeling that, ah, hey, you know what? He's just going to kind of try to stiff me. Sure enough, here we are 24 hours later. Absolutely nothing. So thus the making of this video, one I didn't really want to make. I wanted to have this resolved normally. I wanted to not have any bad experience with this and just return the lights and that's that. But he's obviously, oh, what would you call it? Fraud? Promising refund and not giving it? Maybe he's trying to do a little blackmail, like he wants everything taken down because he doesn't want the world to know about the shitty product that he's selling that, by the way, is illegal. Here's the Florida statute concerning blinding oncoming drivers. And since the light installed per his recommendation, blinds uncommon drivers because the lights have no cutoff that is completely accurate you cannot run those bulbs without the cage with the cage perfectly fine it had a cutoff obviously really crappy light output 
but it had a cutoff. So running without them, you get the good light, but I don't feel like having tickets every time I pass a cop, because it's just like running with your brights on, way up high. Ah, crap, I forgot about school zones. I hate this time of day. Ugh. Slow, slow, slow. This one's especially bad because they'll have a, a guy out stopping traffic. It's not just 15 miles an hour, which isn't that bad. Ugh, but this guy stops and lets everybody in and out, even if it's just one car. Anyway. So I'll let you all make up your own mind if you want to do business with a company that does things like this. I know I never do. It's not just about this particular product, but when a business treats a customer like that, especially when they are in the wrong, especially when they're going against what they have already promised in writing, and then don't do that for personal reasons, that's just completely bogus. So I'm out 90 bucks, and I got some LED lights here that I'm not using. And I'm certainly not comfortable sending them back at this point, even if a week from now he says, okay, send them back and I'll give you your money back. I'm not that stupid. What are the odds that I send those back and I'm going to get my money back in any kind of timely fashion? Think about it. He's jerking me around like this before giving me my money back. Uh, no. <laughs> then I'd be out the money and the product. So, you know, I guess I can look into recourse. I can't remember if I paid with my bank card or PayPal. If PayPal, it's going to be extremely easy to get my money back. They're very good about being customer advocates. But I think I used my bank card, which is fine because it's a business account. And they are also very good at customer relations. It's different when you use a business account than a personal. There, there's a lot more protection and a lot more bite behind the bark when it is a business card. So that's actually what I'm going to do when I get home here after I'm done with this video and see about recourse that way. It's just absolutely ridiculous that I have to do such things. Something else happened very similarly a few years ago. I used to do these uh, really large prints. I did large format printing at home and I had a really big expensive printer, basically the size of a small car. And one of the items that you have to change out on a regular basis is the drive belt. It's kind of like the timing belt of a car engine or the serpentine belt. It's just a rubber belt that wears out. So it was about $1,000 from HP to have it done. And, of course, it's not rocket science, so I wanted to figure out how to do it myself. Nobody else had done it, so I did a big install how-to video on it. And the process went fine, so I was sourcing the part. It was just the belt that I needed. Not a big deal. It was like 50 bucks for the part. The rest was just hours and hours and hours of labor because you had to disassemble the entire thing to get to the belt. It was a really bad design. But anyway, I did it. And in the process, I found the company that was selling the belt, and they were also selling a complete installation toolkit because the service manual did indicate there were a couple special tools needed, and they said very plainly that this kit includes everything you need to do the job. I said, great. It was like 50 bucks for the kit. No big deal. That's, that's no problem. I did that. <clears throat> Long story short with that, the kit did not include everything you needed. In fact, it was missing two special tools. And in talking to that owner, he admitted that, well, they'd never actually use that kit when they do the job, because they were also a service company for the printers. When they do the job, they use the quote unquote real tools, meaning the special tools that I had to go out and buy, which are more than the kit to begin with and that his kit was not good enough for the job. And they promptly pulled it off the website and he wouldn't give me a refund. So I had to go through PayPal. And he gave me this uh, scathing rebuttal on PayPal. But in the end, I got the refund and he lost. It's just like, 
another example of totally in the wrong and the worst possible way to deal with their caused problem. So that's it for today, unfortunately. It's just a short ride here and a rant, but it's an important one. Doing business with companies that support the customer, do things right, and make things right is who I give my money to. And that's the only thing that counts is how you vote with your wallet. There are lots of companies out there selling products. But me, I'm going to support the ones that do business the right way, the way I try to do business myself, and not those that screw the customer. That's it, guys. I'm back home. i got to mow the lawn. Wow. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the site, twowheelobsession.com. Got a lot of cool ride videos from other guys that just went up. We'll see you next time.